Hello guys, welcome and welcome to Meteor Academy. Today we are going to discuss few important repeatedly asked questions from endocrine system. Let's see in detail. The first question is the most common ionized mediator of hormone action in our body. The options given here are calcium, magnesium, iron and potassium. This question asked in RUHS nursing entrance exam 2016. Listen to the question very carefully. They are asking common ionized mediator which is helping the hormone to do the function in our body. What is ionization? It is a process by which the atoms or molecules get a positive or negative charge. So which positive ne or negatively charged ion is helping the hormone to do the function in our body? And the answer is calcium. So calcium is the one which is helping the hormone to do their action in our body. Additional information are hormones are called the first messengers in our body and the second messenger is cyclic adenosine monophosphate. The next question is which of the following hormone is modified amino acid? Options are epinephrine, progesterone, prostaglandin and estrogen. This question asked in HBSSC Stoffness exam 2016. Here they are asking about modified amino acid. You should know the other name of modified amino acid that is amine hormones. See chemically the hormones are classified into two types that is water soluble hormones and lipid soluble hormones. The first example of water soluble hormones are amine hormones. Amine hormones are otherwise called as modified amino acid. The example of amine hormones are epinephrine norepinephrine dopamine so if you know this rational easily you can come to the answer that is the correct answer is option a that is epinephrine as i mentioned already chemically the hormones are classified into two types that is water soluble and lipid soluble so water soluble i have given the examples that is amine hormones apart from amine hormones Peptide hormones are also there, that is antidiuretic hormone and oxytocin. When come to the lipid soluble hormones, examples are corticosteroid, progesterone, estrogen, T3 and T4. These are all the additional information. The next question is, a gland that disappears in the adult but is active during childhood is? The options are hypothalamus, parathyroid gland, adrenal cortex and thymus. This question asked in UPPSC and UP Stoffness exam 2017. See this is very easy question and the answer here is D that is thymus gland. Thymus gland is a bilobed lymphoid organ which is situated in the mediastinal cavity and it is the primary site for T lymphocytes activation. This thymus gland secretes thymosin. This thymosin is the one which is helping for the T lymphocytes activation. It weights around 10 to 15 gram at birth and continue to grow till the puberty about 30 to 40 grams. After puberty it shrinks and the lymphoid tissue is replaced by the fibrotic tissue. Only 5 to 10 gram of thymus tissue left in the adulthood. The next question is arrange the following five event in correct order of occurrence and the orders given here are stimulation of anterior pituitary, stimulation of ovaries, stimulation of neurosecretory cells, release of gonadotropic hormones, release of gonadotropin releasing hormone and they have given four options. This question asked in GMCH Chandigarh Stoffness exam 2019. See here we should know the chain or pathway of hypothalamus to pituitary, pituitary to concern organs. Here the concern organ they given is ovaries. You should know the chain or link between these three areas. If you know that easily you can go to the answer. Here the correct answer is option A. Why I am selecting option A? Let me tell the rational. Here there is a stimulation of neurosecretory cells in the hypothalamus that is going to be the first one. Once the stimulation of neurosecretory cells happen, it will stimulate or release the gonadotropin releasing hormone. 
once the gonadotropin releasing hormone is released it will stimulate the anterior pituitary to release gonadotropic hormone that is follicle stimulating hormone or luteinizing hormone this follicle stimulating or luteinizing hormone mix in the blood and it will go and stimulate the ovaries so that is why i have selected option a the next question is the posterior pituitary consists mainly of the options given here are t cells c cells beta cells neuronal projection this question asked in aims partner nursing officer exam 2020 and the correct answer here is option d that is neuronal projection the rational behind this is pituitary gland consists of two lobes anterior lobe otherwise called as adenohypophysis posterior lobe otherwise called neurohypophysis adenohypophysis is responsible for 75 percentage of total weight of the gland and is composed of glandular tissues whereas posterior hypophysis otherwise posterior pituitary gland is composed of neuronal projections from the hypothalamus it means it is made up of nervous tissues so posterior pituitary has what neuronal projections that is option d next question is the hypo function of the anterior pituitary gland that rarely affect the posterior lobe leading to the options given here are graves disease simons disease froehlich syndrome and levy syndrome This question asked in Ames Raipur Stoffness Exam 2017. You should know the definition or the meaning of all these four options in order to catch the correct answer. What is Graves disease? It is a autoimmune disease which is commonly seen in hyperthyroidism patient. Froehlich syndrome. It is a rare childhood metabolic disorder characterized by obesity, growth retardation and retarded development of genital organ. What is Levy's syndrome? It is a rare disorder result in muscle wasting. And the last one is Simmons disease. What is Simmons disease? It is also called as pituitary cachexia or pan hypopituitarism. It refers to the defective or absent function of the entire pituitary gland. Usually in Simmons disease the problem arises in the anterior pituitary and it will affect the posterior pituitary. because of pan hypopituitarism all the organs function is going to be decrease that is the thyroid function adrenal function gonads hypotension cachexia everything will be there for the patient so based on discussing all these definitions we came to know that the correct option here is that is b simons disease the next question is which hormone increases the bp by constricting arterioles during severe hemorrhage this question asked in rrb stoffness exam 2019 the options given here are follicle stimulating hormone luteinizing hormone oxytocin antidiuretic hormone and the correct answer here is option d that is antidiuretic hormone the rational is the main effect of antidiuretic hormone is retention of water in the body it also plays a vital role in contraction of the blood vessels which in turn increases the blood pressure the next question is where is oxytocin synthesized the options given here are paraaxial nuclei of the hypothalamus hypothalamo epiphyseal plexus paraventricular nuclei of hypothalamus hypophyseal portal plexus this question asked in rrb stoffness exam 2019 and the correct answer here is option c that is paraventricular nuclei of hypothalamus it is because the paraventricular nuclei of hypothalamus secretes two peptide bonds oxytocin and vasopressin the next question is the earliest gland to appear in the embryo is options are pituitary thyroid adrenal and ovary This question asked in BSF Stoffness Exam 2015, and the correct answer is option B. The rational is the thyroid gland is the first endocrine gland which develops on about the 24th day of gestation. The next question is the direct action of parathyroid hormone include everything except. 
ऑप्शन की मनी आर और इंक्रीज रीअब्जॉर्बन ऑफ कैल्शियम फ्रॉम बोन इंक्रीज ऑब्जॉर्बन ऑफ कैल्शियम फ्रॉम इंटेस्टाइन इंक्रीज रीअब्जॉर्बन ऑफ कैल्शियम फ्रॉम किडनी इंक्रीज प्रोडक्शन ऑफ वन ट्वेंटी फाइव डाई हाइड्रोक्सी विटामिन डी दिस क्वेश्चन एस्ट इन जिपमर स्टॉफनेस एग्जाम टू थाउजेंड थर्टीन दिस इज द नेगेटिव क्वेश्चन एंड हियर द करेक्ट ऑप्शन इज बी दैट इज इंक्रीज ऑब्जॉर्बन ऑफ कैल्शियम फ्रॉम इंटेस्टाइन वाई लेट सी द रेशनल द डायरेक्ट एक्शन ऑफ पैराथायरॉइड हॉर्मोन्स और इट इंक्रीजेस रीअब्जॉर्बन ऑफ कैल्शियम फ्रॉम द बोन्स एंड decrease excretion of calcium from kidney this is the direct action and indirect action or parathyroid hormone activate vitamin d and the activated vitamin d otherwise called as 125 dihydroxy vitamin d or 125 dihydroxy cholecalciferol it increases the absorption of calcium from the gastrointestinal tract so increase absorption of calcium from the intestine is a indirect function of parathyroid hormone hello guys thank you very much for watching this video don't forget to subscribe like share the video uh, so that it will be useful for others if you have any doubts anywhere kindly drop your message in the message box thank you once again